All right, we're looking at um, how to work out uh, how much tax you've got to pay uh, on your dividends. Uh, I want you to look at the franking part of it, and also we're going to look at um, partially franked dividends. So let's have a look at the one that hasn't got, that's just completely fully franked, and work out how we work out our imputation credit, and then how much tax we've got to pay. So the question could read something along the lines of um, the calculate the tax payable or refund. Uh, here, if you have 5,000 shares that pay 35 cents per share, um, and dividend is 40, and your, your tax rate is 42%. Uh, percent. So I always like using one of these tables, so 5,000, 35 cents per share, you times the two of them together, that one times that one, will give you 7, 17,050. Because they're fully franked, that means that goes completely in here. So all this means that the, the tax is going to be paid by the company at the company rate. So there's nothing in the unfranked box. We come to imputation credit. So whatever's in the frank box, you times by 30 over 70. So you say we got 1,750 times by 30 over 70. So it's always whatever's in the frank box there gets times by um, 30 over 70 to get your imputation credit. Now this money here goes off to the tax man. Okay, so that goes off so you don't even see it. But when you work out your income declared, the income declared is how much money you've actually, on paper, how much you've got. So that's the 1750 plus your 750 which goes off to um, the tax man. So that means your income declared is 2500 bucks. So it's whatever's in these three boxes here. This box, at this box, at this box. So then our tax liability is the 2500 times by our tax rate gives us 1050 So that's how much money, 1050 is how much money we should be paying in tax. But we've already paid $750 worth in tax. So you can see that uh, we owe a little bit more. So we're meant to be paying 1,050. We sh we've already paid 750, so that means we owe 300. So if you want to work out how much after-tax profit you've got, it's going to be your 1750. Take away your your the 300, that gives you 1450. Okay, um, because you've already had that money there. Cool. Let's have a look at the next one. The next one, um, we're going to have a look at uh, what happens here with your, if there's partially franked dividend. Calculate tax payable or refund. Here we go up here again. If you have 4,000 shares, 24 cents per share, 50% franking, and your 42% rate. So, set it out again. That one times that one gives you a div per share. Now, notice that, that gives you a 1,000. But then, because it's 50% frank, half goes in here, half goes in here. So, I've just done... Half is 500, half 500, so 1,000 times by 50%, okay? If it's 80%, 20%, then you'd go, you know, 4,000 4, times 25 times 80%, and that would be on the franking, and the other bit would go on the unfranked. Anyway, so that's how it works. So this bit here, this unfranked here, no tax gets paid on that at all by the company. But over here, this one does. So, let me get, um, oh yeah, yeah. So over here we have um, 500, times by 30 over 70 equals $214.29. So that's 500 times by 30 over 70. So it's whatever's in this franking box here gets times in there. Okay, so nothing happens to the unfranked one. So all this bit goes to the tax man. So the rest of the thing's kind of working out the way normally way it normally does for us. So our income declared, once again, to whatever's in this box, at this box. So 500 at 500 at 214.29. So that's our income declared. So our tax liability is going to be that times by our tax rate, which is 42, which is $510. So notice that we should be paying $510, but we've already paid $214.29. So your tax owner is going to be 510, take the 214, which is 295.71. So you still nearly owe another, nearly 300 bucks. So to work out your after-tax profit is that one what you've been paid, that one what you've been paid, take away the extra tax that you've got, and so $704.29 is your after-tax profit on that. Okay, so that's the two ways that you do the dividend imputation credits and looking at how much money you are up and uh, that uh, you have to get to the tax man or they refund to you. So in both in these ones, these examples, that you've had to pay more because your tax rate is 42%, which is higher than the 30% tax rate that the, ta the company is paying on your behalf. Thank you.